So in this program, we are trying to find the transverse of a particular matrix. So let's first consider an example matrix, say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So let this be a... 3 by 3 matrix and the order is 0, 0, 0, 1 order. It's the index of each element 0, 1, 0, 2. Similarly, here it is 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2 and this is 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2. So, these are the corresponding index or, or here from program it's the corresponding i and j value. And how to calculate the transpose? What is the transpose? The row element become column elements. So, transpose means the transpose of the last matrix will be first column becomes first row say 1, 4, 7 then second column becomes second row that is 2, 5, 8 and this 3, 6, 9 becomes the last row. So, this is how you take the transpose. Row becomes column and column becomes row. 147, 258, 369. Again, you are comparing the uh, indices 00, 01, 02, then 10, 11, 12. This is 20, 21, 22. So, what is happening here? Here it is 00. Okay. And here too. 0, 1 became here. Now the index has become 1, 0. So, 0, 1, the element in position 0, 1 is now in position 1, 0 because i and j got interchanged. Similarly, 3 at 0, 2 became 3 at 2, 0. So, i and j are getting swapped. That is, if a, i, j is the element, when you define a new matrix, say transpose or T, Corresponding index will be T, J, I. Okay, so here if the row is I and column is J, after transposing row becomes J and column becomes I. The row and column number is getting swapped. So this is the basic logic in writing the program to find the transpose of a matrix. So let's uh, proceed to the code. So first step, we are defining a matrix, then to find the transpose and store it, we have yet another matrix and maximum size of 10 by 10 is given. Then number of rows and columns, let's give the variables say R and C for number of rows and number of columns. Then we are asking the user to enter the number of rows and columns and is saved in R and C. Then enter the matrix elements. So you know that we have discussed already two programs for matrix addition and multiplication. So, i is equal to 0, i less than r, i plus plus. Okay, so it is like 0 to r minus 1 and inner loop corresponding to column is 0 to c minus 1. Then enter the element. So, specifically to get the value you can give it or outside both the loops you can directly give enter the matrix element that is sufficient. But here what is the advantage? Corresponding to each and every element the index will be shown. So, it's optional. You can give like this, enter element. I plus 1 and J plus 1 gives the row number and column number. Because here it is 0 to R minus 1. But when we say as a matrix, we say that this is first row. We don't say that it is 0th row. So, that difference is there in code, coding or in when we deal with C, it will start from 0 to R minus 1. Whereas, when we deal with matrix, we say from 1 to R. Here it is 0 to R minus 1. So that difference will be there. So while giving a print, you can give I plus 1 and J plus 1. And scan of ampersand sign A, I, J. Okay. Now, uh, we just print the entered matrix because when we uh, check the transpose, it's, it will be better if we can see both matrices. So we are just printing the matrix. So first loop corresponds to row. So after each row, the elements should be printed in new lines. So, after the first loop, you can give print slash n to start in a new line. Then inner loop for the column and you are printing a i j to print each element. So, next step is to find the transpose. Again, both loops should be included because this has to happen with each and every element. So, again what you are doing, 
for int i is equal to 0, i less than r, i plus plus, then for int j equal 0, j less than c, j plus plus. This corresponds to each row and this corresponds to each column. So, you have nested loop. And within both loops, what we are entering, transpose j of i is equal to a of ij. Because for transpose, we just interchange the row and columns. Transpose j i is equal to a of ij. And just check what happens with the diagonal elements. If it is 0, 0, there won't be any change. Because ij and j i getting interchanged, there won't be any change. 0, 0 will be again in 0, 0. 1, 1 will be again in 1, 1. So, diagonal elements will remain unchanged. But element in 0, 1 will go to 1, 0 position. In 0, 2 will go to 2, 0 position like that. So, this is the one line code to find the transpose. And the last step is to print the transpose. Again, just like the earlier case, i is equal to 0, i less than but here, what is the difference? After calculating the transpose, the order has changed. Okay, so here we dealt with the square matrix. So, you won't be able to find the difference. If we are taking a 2 by 3 matrix, say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This the order is 2 by 3. If we take the transpose, what will be the transpose of this? Row becomes column. So, it will be like 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6. So, here the order is changed. This becomes 3 by 2 matrix. So, here what happens? Here if row and column is 2 by 3, here row becomes the earlier column and column becomes the earlier row. So, this, this change is there. That's why here corresponding to column we have R and corresponding to row we have C. So, that difference happens here. So, here you can see instead of R, here it is given as C because this is row itself. Row number is C in transpose. Similarly, here column number is, is R in transpose. So, this interchange you have to be very careful. And then printing transpose ij and after each row you need it in a new line so you give printf slash n. Let's check if we are getting the output. Enter rows will give this example. Enter rows and columns say 2 by 3 matrix. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here you can see that each matrix where, uh, element index is shown here. Entered matrix was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and this is the transpose of the matrix. So, you get the output.